Hey, it's Motorola Droid Help and Info, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom ROM on your Droid. And now the first thing you want to do is go to the website shoals.info, then go to the link at the top that says installation, and you just want to download the two files I'm downloading now. And once those are done downloading, you're going to move them to the root of your Droid. So... I just want to thank everybody for viewing our videos and subscribing and commenting and just ask if you're new to please subscribe and check out our site droidspot.net and register. Okay, so now the files are done downloading. They'll probably take a little longer for you. So just open up both your droid root folder and the folder where you downloaded the files and just drag the files over to the root folder of your droid and make sure they're named correctly one is named flash understroke image and the other one is named something which i do not remember but it should be okay so it copies and pastes relatively quickly okay now that that is done we're going to hop on over to our droid and download this app. The app we're going to be downloading is called Android Terminate, Term, not Terminator, Terminal. And so just open up the market, search for it, and search Android Terminal Emulator, or just Android Terminal. When you search it, make sure you download the one that's called Android Terminal Emula Emulator and not Terminal Terminal Emulator because only Android Terminal Emulator is working right now. So once it's done downloading, open it up. Oh, if I forgot to mention, make sure your phone is rooted and the video before this works. So I'm going to be typing in a whole bunch of code. So it's all in the sidebar in case you can't catch it while I'm doing it. But just make sure you type it exactly correct or else it will be, it will not work. But don't worry, during this step you really can't screw up your phone. Uh, although I, I'm not responsible, so don't uh, like start messaging me that your phone won't turn on and blaming me for this because it's not my fault. As long as you follow the instructions, you should be good. And actually this step is really good for your phone if you like to test things on it, like if you're a developer or something, because I'm act we're actually installing sort of like a custom bootloader, uh, which will allow you to back up and restore your phone in its entirety. So you can pretty much do whatever, and as long as you have a backup of a working copy, you're pretty much good. So now I'm just going to let the code, I'm just going to let you... Watch the code that's running through, and then I'll be back. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I had to pull out the rest of the code part because the video was over 10 minutes long, and YouTube doesn't allow that anymore. So it's really easy to do this. Just in the description, the code, all the code is there. Just f type in each line, each step, one. Type it in, press enter. Then go to the next one, type it in, and press enter. And when you type in SU for the first time, the first line of code, make sure you press allow and remember. So thanks, and please subscribe. So next thing you're going to do is power down your phone completely, holding the power button and clicking power off, of course. And once your phone is off, I have a little trouble pressing the button, uh, once your phone is shut off, hold the power button down along with the X button and let go of the power button once the screen turns on, but continue holding the X button until a menu pops up. Uh, the menu is going to be different than what it looked like when you rooted, and that's the whole point. Um, so if, if it looks like the same menu as when you rooted, you know you did it wrong. So what we're doing here is creating a backup in case anything goes wrong. So 
you have to go down to the second to last option, backup slash restore, navigating with the D-pad, clicking it, of course, and going to advanced Nandroid backup. And make sure you select all the things, and if it's selected, it has an asterisk next to it, and then you click perform backup. Now, you may be scared that yours is taking a lot longer than in the video, Nothing to worry about, as I've sped it up like 20 times. So, in real life, it'll probably take anywhere, depending on how much stuff you have, from 30 seconds to 10 to 15 minutes. So, if it freezes for like over an hour, you're probably in trouble. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to want to press the power button a few times to get just tap it don't hold it press the power button until you get back to the main menu and once you're at the main menu you want to go to reboot system now and we're gonna hop on over to the computer now take the file that you downloaded from the sidebar and unzip it and take the unzipped version and open up your droid folder or droid on your computer and open up the nandroid folder on your droid and drop the folder in the sidebar that says download now make sure it's unzipped into the nandroid folder on your droid now just watch if my words are confusing you once that's done just power it off your phone and we're on to our final step so i hope you're excited because this really improves your phone. And also, check back in a few days for videos on overclocking. Overclocking it to around 800 megahertz. And also some Wi-Fi tethering and other cool stuff I have planned. So, can, turn on your phone while holding the X button while it's off again. And we're going to go and restore it to the custom ROM. And you will keep all your apps and everything, so don't worry about that. And it's a good idea to update all your apps, too. So go to Backup slash Restore again and Advanced Nandroid Restore this time, not Backup. And make sure you click Choose Backup first, or else it'll uh, use the wrong backup. And go to Smoked Glass. And if it doesn't appear there, you probably did not unzip it. And make sure you uncheck Data and make sure the asterisk has gone, so only the two that you saw before are showing. Now, this part takes a few minutes. It should be about the same for everybody. But again, I sped it up on the video. So if yours takes longer, don't worry. And if anything goes wrong during this step, we can always restore the backup. So once that's all completed, you're done. And you just have to tap the power button again and click reboot. And don't worry, this reboot will take anywhere from a minute to 15 minutes. So, it'll take a while, but don't worry. So, I'd just like to thank everyone for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And head over to droidspot.net.